Hey fellas, it's Joe the Blue Dragon here, and I'm going to tell you about a quick little contest I'm coming up with. I call it Joe's Traveling AIDS Tourney, and in no way does it involve you going around the world giving AIDS to other people. That's just wrong. I'm talking about AIDS sources. This concept has, to be done, has been done before, many times, and it's basically Mad Anonymous' life job to prove that a source can be good no matter how overused it may be. However, I wanted to make a little contest to see just a few things. How many YouTubers out there right now can actually use these sources in an original way? So if you want to prove yourself and show off your skill a bit, this is your chance. I also want to know if there's any talented, underrated artists that I have not been seeing in a while. So if, you're, if you want to get some attention, this is a good way to do it. And lastly, I think it's always good to have a little reminder that a source isn't going to become dead. There's always going to be someone who can find something new to do with it. This is not meant in any way to be a poop standoff or a poop factor ripoff. In fact, the contest style is completely different. It's not an elimination contest. A few people will be eliminated, though. Some will be disqualified, and maybe a few will drop out but the winner of the contest will be the person who has the most points in the end. You gather points by doing well in each round. If you're the best entry, I'll give you the most points, and if you're the worst entry, I'll take off a point. And if you're somewhere in between, you'll get points depending on how good you did. Everyone starts out with three points, and you'll see why. Elimination and registration work like this. Since I've had some past problems with being in a contest I didn't want anything to do with. I do not care what you type in a comment. It doesn't mean a thing to me. Messages, absolutely nothing. If you want to enter the contest, post your video as a response to the corresponding round. And that will go for on and on until the end of the contest. If your video is not in the responses when I go to make the next video, you're disqualified or if it's the first round, and you're, then you're just not entered. If at any time you want to drop out of the contest, then you will remove your video as a response to my contest. You do this by responding it to a different video. If your video is in there, you are in the contest, no matter how many times you've told me that you aren't. That's how registration and disqualification works. You can also be eliminated from the contest competitively in two ways. The first way is if you lose the three points that I gave you to start out with. In order to do that, you'd almost have to come in last place every single round. Only two people could be eliminated that way, and I prefer that nobody is eliminated that way. However, I don't want you wasting my time if your videos are really uncreative. The second way to be eliminated revolves around voting, which I'll talk about now. I'm not interested in having any other judges in this contest, unless you make a really extremely convincing case about why you should, which I doubt anyone will. If you're interested in judging a future contest of mine, then enter this one, and you could get that role. Since I'm the only judge, voting I'm making an important role, so that I'm not the only person deciding who wins and who loses. When you vote, you'll pick your favorite entry and your least favorite entry for that round. The entry that gets the most votes as the favorite will get an extra four points added on to the creator's score. That's a good deal of points. Getting them could win or lose the contest for you. The entry that gets the most votes as the least favorite, sadly, will that entrant will have to be removed from the contest. Only enter this contest if you're a good sport, because I know that it's not very appealing to be classed as one of like the few people who got eliminated. Now on to the next topic, sources. Every round you will be required to respond to the contest with a YouTube poop of the source for the round I was planning. And I wanted to go on YouTube and gather an accurate list of AIDS sources, but since it's still down, thanks a lot, Haas, I'm going to go with my own list that I came up with. The entry round will be I Am Mean. The second round will be that old Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog series, with that Sonic Says and all that. The third round will be any of the Dr. Rabbit sources. 
This goes for the original one, the more popular, and any other ones, since I know there's more than one. The fourth round will be Mama Luigi, and various overused episodes of that series. And the fifth round will be any of the Zelda CDI cutscenes and games, like the Wand of Gamelon, the Faces of Evil. And lastly, the final round will be the infamous Hotel Mario game. I told you all that the sources I told you all the sources in this contest that you'll use, so if you finish your entry for one round, you can get ahead working on the next one. And since there's very little elimination, you should probably plan on getting to at least the fourth round, if not the final round. You can also always use an old video of a source that you made. The judging of this contest that I'll be doing is not by any means deciding who's the best YouTube pooper of the entries. What I'm looking for in the garden of aids that I'm growing is originality. I'd rather have a poorly sentence mixed CDI YouTube poop than one with excellent sentence mixing with no original jokes whatsoever, like about the king's dinner being sold. Everything has almost been done to these sources, and I'm relying on you guys to come up with something that hasn't. Now here's the question I'll probably get. Does the entry have to be made up entirely of only the AIDS source? No, of course not. But most of it should be made of that source, of course. Be wary. Not using enough of the source will not help your chances of getting a lot of points. I'm not planning on getting a ton of entries for this contest. The ideal number I have in my head would be 20 if I can get that high, which I think is a good amount of entries, but not too many that I have to lose track of all of them. If somehow I get to 25, I'm just going to cut the entry round there. I don't want to be watching more than 30 YouTube poops, especially if the majority of them are bad, and with AIDS, they might be. I may stop the entry round in the beginning of June, unless I feel as if I haven't gotten enough entries yet. In that case, I'll extend the round until I get enough people. I may also cut it short, as I said. Now, here's a warning to you all, and I may sound like a complete jerk saying this. If you're going to come into this contest, Making videos with the king saying spaghetti in Luigi's voice, leave now. I want originality, and while I argue all the time about how YouTube poop is subjective, and every style is good to some people's eyes, Spadinner has all been done before. Spadinner is what made people call these sources AIDS, and AIDS sources are usually where Spadinner comes from. Luigi's spaghetti, the king saying dinner, and Mario's no. It's all been done before, and I do not want to see it. And also, if you're going to make a particular joke about the size of I am means dick, that's not a good plan either, if you get what I'm saying. I'm talking about all overused jokes. And also, I have no problem if your style is using a ton of ear rape and seizure effects. I love that. Just personalize it. Make it your own, and do something original with the source that hasn't been done yet. Same with sentence mixing. Don't take other people's jokes unless you don't know about it. Don't purposely do it. Good day, and I hope you join this contest. It should be a fun time for me and anyone who wants to enter. This contest isn't the ultimate decision of who's the best. It's just a little way, if you will, to give poop reason while having fun and doing what we all love. So please enter this contest if you're interested. And even if you're not interested in entering, stick around to vote, please. Thank you.